Welcome to our new video. As of the time of recording, the deadline for Windows 10's end of support is just around the corner, with many users looking for alternative options to keep their still functioning computers alive, we'll be reviewing Zorin OS 18, a Linux-based operating system. Although it's still in beta, we've been using it for a few weeks, and here's what we have learned so far. Stay tuned! The installation process of Zorin OS 18 Beta was smooth and familiar. The installer is an older application, a fork of a previous Ubuntu installer. However, it works seamlessly and gets the job done. Whether you're a new or experienced user, what really matters is having your system installed in about 10 minutes at most. We have installed Zorin OS 18 Beta on both real hardware and in a virtual environment. Right out of the box, regardless of whether you are new to Linux, Zorin offers a look and feel that you'll instantly recognize. It basically invites you to start working. At the bottom of the screen, there's a taskbar similar to the one in Windows 10, featuring familiar elements like the calendar and the system tray in the lower right-hand corner. On the left side, you'll find shortcuts for apps that are pinned by default. One of these is Files, the default application for exploring your folders, which looks and functions quite similarly to Windows Explorer. In the lower left-hand corner, there's a Start menu that is intuitive and self-explanatory. The left side is reserved for apps divided into categories, while the right side contains shortcuts to your locations like documents, downloads, pictures or videos. But that's not all. If you want to change the layout for any reason, there's an app called Zorin Appearance that lets you customize the system's workflow. If you're not fond of the default layout, that closely resembles Windows 10, the core version, totally free, offers three additional layouts, one reminiscent of the classic Windows look, another akin to an Android interface, and lastly, the default layout of the GNOME desktop environment. In the Pro version, which is paid, you'll find even more desktop layouts available. Zorin OS 18 is a professional-looking release in this Linux-based series. With Zorin Appearance, you can further customize it by adding effects like Jelly Mode or including the Home or Trash icons on the desktop. You can also decide whether your new windows will be centered or spread out. And that's just a glimpse of what you can do with the Zorin Appearance app. The team behind Zorin OS 18 clearly had users switching from Windows in mind. Zorin makes it easy to install Windows applications on Linux through compatibility layers. However, the system advises users that there are often native alternatives to many Windows-only apps. Keep in mind that certain Windows-only applications, such as the Adobe Suite or the latest versions of Microsoft Office, do not work on Linux. Fortunately, Zorin offers solutions. For instance, it comes with LibreOffice by default as a viable alternative to Microsoft Office, and you can also use it online through your browser. Additionally, the Zorin team has included an app called Web Apps that allows you to install online applications like Microsoft Office Online as standalone local apps opening in a separate browser window. For users migrating from Windows, Zorin OS has added OneDrive file integration to the built-in online accounts feature, enabling users to browse and manage their OneDrive files directly from the sidebar in the Files app. Overall, Zorin OS 18 presents an improved and more polished appearance. They have also introduced a powerful new default window tiling manager, which simplifies advanced window tiling for both newcomers and veteran users. As for aesthetics, Zorin OS 18 introduces two new theme colors, brown and yellow. Its dark desktop style remains instant and consistent.
Still, some corners of the Linux community have reservations about Zorin OS. One concern revolves around the system's base. Zorin OS 18 is built on Ubuntu 24.04, which is the long-term support version of Ubuntu from April 2024. This base is relatively old as of the time of recording this video. The GNOME desktop environment in Zorin OS 18 is version 46, another older iteration of the desktop. Just a reminder, the upcoming Ubuntu 25.10, which we will also review soon, features a newer base and kernel along with GNOME 49. However, in practical terms, these version numbers aren't overly significant. The older base indicates that Zorin OS 18 is stable and well-tested, meaning it's expected to function properly on your hardware. Possible exceptions might include the very latest hardware, not supported by the kernel in Ubuntu 24.04 and therefore in Zorin OS 18. The distinction between GNOME 46 and 49 is largely irrelevant to new users. They primarily seek a system that is stable and functions well, and the specifics about improvements or new features are unlikely to be decisive factors. Another objection raised is that Zorin OS is a sort of mishmash operating system assembled from various parts. For instance, their software application is sometimes cited as an example. While it does indeed source applications from three different repositories, Zorin, which includes Ubuntu repositories, Flathub and Snap, this integration works seamlessly no matter which source you choose to install an app from in Zorin software app, it operates as expected. Moreover, the software app provides a straightforward way to install proprietary applications, such as Chrome or Microsoft Edge, which some other Linux distributions make difficult to obtain. It's true that the apps in the repositories can be somewhat outdated, but Zorin OS compensates for this by allowing users to install applications as flatpacks or snaps. These platforms offer the latest versions of sandboxed, regularly updated applications. In summary, if you are looking for a stable environment with apps that can help you get your work done, you don't need to look beyond Zorin OS 18. What are your thoughts on Zorin? Have you tried it? and what was your experience like? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up, share it and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.